so history of art is a humanities subject. So um, students that are studying other humanities and art subjects, it would really, really suit their programme. So anything from history, religious studies goes particularly well with it because we do look at, in one of our modules, we do look at religious identity. We look at quite a lot of the, the art associated with that. Um, we also um, attract students that are kind of doing fine art. So it goes really, really nicely hand in hand with the creative subjects. Um, but it is a humanities subject, so we have to remember that it is essay-based. Um, and students that are, that are studying English as well, so we've got quite a nice bit of crossover between um, some of the topics in English and in the, um, with the pre-Raphaelites that we study in, in History of Art as well. So we'll be studying four um, modules, so two of those modules are thematic. Um, and we're starting with uh, war, so uh, the way people kind of commemorate um, kind of leaders and propaganda, that kind of thing, anti-war um, art and architecture as well. Um, the second theme we look at is identity, so that's ethnic, religious, gender, those kinds of areas. Um, interestingly, when we're looking at those themes, that is worldwide as well, so we get to the kind of really broad scope from the Middle East to Asia to the European tradition, all of those kinds of things. Um, and alongside those, we do two period studies. We look at the Renaissance, kind of Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, those kinds of people, as well as um, the avant-garde, British and French, kind of Impressionism, post-Impressionism, pre-Raphaelites, kind, of, kind of quite a big basket of stuff, really. This course is assessed through two exams, so there's no coursework component. Um, the exams are essay-based, so although there is that visual element to some of the essay questions, so there'll be some visual stimulus that you will be referring to <coughs> in your answers, um, they are pretty hefty kind of essay-based exams. Plenty of opportunities. Another really, really nice thing about the, the, the course, other than the breadth that I mentioned earlier, kind of globally, is that you can kind of, um, there's kind of that, that local interest as well. So we're free to kind of choose pieces of architecture and art that are local to us, or those that we can get to easily. So the British Museum, excellent place to go and see um, some kind of art and architecture from the past through to National Gallery, uh, museums in Oxford locally as well, um, right down to um, Kelmscott Manor, just down the road where um, Dante Rossetti had a studio. And we also get pl plenty of opportunities for, for trips abroad. Um, History of Art is a really, it's a fantastic subject for those kind of short city breaks, whether that's Berlin or Madrid or Paris or Rome, um, plenty, plenty of places that we can alternate um, and in order to go and visit these famous galleries and pieces of architecture. Well, there's around 300 courses, um, undergrad courses in the country at the moment. Some of those are history of art standalone, others are kind of married up with things like English literature, French, uh, that kind of thing. We've got more and more students I've, I've noticed recently that are going off to do history of art at university um, with the view of getting into curatorial practice, managing galleries, that kind of thing. Architecture uh, is a really popular, um, so art history sits quite nicely with people that are thinking of getting into architecture because we do get that thorough grounding um, in architecture, how to read architecture and the, the kind of development of architecture from ancient Greece onwards really. Um, journalism, uh, archaeology, quite, quite a broad field of things that you could get into really.